Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you our top 10 Tolera and Sauron riding essentials. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please make sure to press that subscribe button and check out some of our previous content. These 10 items aren't in any particular order. Uh, they're just our favourite personal items that we've uh, accumulated throughout the years. So our first item today is the hip bag slash fanny pack, bum bag, whatever you want to call it. This is a great thing. And if you look in our other videos, I'm always wearing one. So why we think the hip bag is so important is because it carries our phone, it carries our tools, it carries our wallet. Some of the items that I carry on this, you're going to see later on in this video, because they're also included in our top 10. But we both wear one of these and we both have multiple of them. I wouldn't really want to ride without one, would you? No, and I much prefer over a backpack because I find backpacks make your back a bit sweaty and you always have easy access to one of these without having to take it off. Our next essential item is a multi-tool. We like to use Leverman's. This one's called the Signal and this one's called the Surge. And as you can see, they're nice and compact whilst also having a multitude of tools on them. We've actually used our Leatherman's to cut through fallen trees on the trails as they have a saw attachment, which locks in place, as you can see. And they also have a much larger blade than most other brands. This one's for cutting bread. And this one's for just a general knife blade. They lock in place. So they're nice and secure and sturdy. And then the scissors have also come in useful, actually. They uh, spring out automatically, like so. But yeah, these, these have come in handy many, many times. They also have a screwdriver attachment. The third item on our list is Muckoff tubeless tyre sedum. We don't run tubeless setups on our bike. We just have inner tubes, but if you remove the core and the inner tube and pour some of this in, it clots when it when there's a hole. So effectively, any thorn, thistle, small screws, it prevents any of the air from leaking out. Since we've been running this in our tyres, we haven't had a puncture and we've been using it for over six months. The fourth item is a carbon dioxide inflator. This is handy because if you do have a puncture on your inner tube and before the sealant has gone off and hardened to re-clog the hole, you might have lost a bit of air. So what you do is you tighten this cap and it pierces a hole in this tube. And when you press this button, a burst of CO2 will go into your tire and inflate it again. It's much better than having to have a big pump on you. So the fifth tool is a mountain bike multi-tool. Mountain biking, Suron and Teleria gear is kind of all the same sort of thing. This is very handy. This is called a Crank Brothers M19. This is just the carry case, but so there's 19 tools on here. There's Allen keys, flatheads, Phillips, Torx, there's a chain splitter, uh, and then the case, which is good to store it, but it also doubles as extra leverage. So many times I've had to use this for my front wheel axle, and I've had to get a bit of extra purchase on it. So holding this like so gives you a nice amount of leverage. Uh, th this is a common trend in lots of our essential items. They're mountain bike items, but you can still use them for the Suron and I think they're great. The next item is a 10mm spanner. This is great because 10mm is the size of your chain tension blocks on your rear axle. So if you're out in the forest and your chain's starting to stretch and you need to adjust it, you can just whip this out of your fanny pack and adjust it right on the trailhead. So the next item on our list, number seven, is a headlight. This is a head mounted light which mounts using a regular gopro clip most of us have gopro mounts on our helmets anyway so this is perfect i personally mount it under my visor which i insert a clip of here the good thing about this one is that you can mount the remote on your handlebars which has an up and down as well as an on and off button it has variable brightness so on its max setting it's 3000 lumens which is perfect to see in the road it's much brighter than the lights you can actually get for your Suron. Uh, the battery pack that powers it is 6,800 milliamp hours. So this probably lasts about five hours of continuous use on max brightness. There is an extension here, wire that goes between the battery pack and the light itself. So I personally put this in my fanny pack and have this attached to my helmet and the wire going down the back of my helmet. I'll connect it now just to show you. So when you turn this light on, it has variable brightness, as you can see, that's the lowest, medium, high, and then off, completely off to hold it down. Um, yeah, in the winter, this came in handy and I wouldn't be without it now. 
Another essential are these Fox mountain biking trousers. These ones are called the Femme, and they name that because they have these Kevlar tear-proof areas on the knees, so if you fall off, you're less likely to ruin them. We also use Fox Flex Air trousers. These ones are great for summer because they're really light, really stretchy, and they're airy. You don't feel restricted like you do if you're wearing motocross trousers. Also, if you're wearing mountain biking gear rather than moto gear, you're less likely to attract attention to yourselves riding a bike in public areas and you just blend in better with the other mountain bikers. So the ninth item are these Adidas 510 trainers or sneakers if you're from America. These are mountain biking shoes but if you imagine a mountain biking pedal has the little threaded grub screw sticking out the top for grip so do the uh, Suron pegs if you have upgraded pegs so they, they literally perform the exact same. The reason that these are so good is because the sole has a special pattern on it and made of a very sticky rubber that really sticks to your pegs. Where they're purposely designed for mountain bikes, they've got padding around your ankles. Uh, we have low top versions, high top versions and these Gore-Tex versions. We love them so much. They're fairly stiff, so you're not going to hurt your ankle if you do put a foot down. Uh, and they're also especially breathable, which is great. Um, these are more for sort of intermediate to advanced riders. If you're a beginner rider, I'd recommend you use motocross boots like the ones I'm going to put on the screen now. If you haven't tried them, I suggest you do go ahead and buy a pair. They're fantastic. The last item is a balaclava. They're great because they are very comfortable to wear under a helmet without causing friction burns from your helmet moving around over bumps. They help to keep you nice and warm in the winter, but also help to cool you down in the summer. I find this one by Oakley. I think the Oakley logo is here yeah, somewhere. Both wearing the same one. Yeah, I think this one's best because it's nice and breathable. And it's also quite cheap, actually. And also, no face, no case. So I'm going to put a link in the description to all the products we've mentioned today. If you did enjoy the video, please leave us a like. I hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching. It's not all. Ten fighting with these nuts. My third essential is an asthma pump because I'd die without it. <laughs> okay, they keep you nice and cool without. <sighs> <There you go. laughs>